I began my uh, life as a musician by using music as enjoyment. Ended up having my own group uh, at university and played as a jazz musician. When I was 24, 25, I really experienced the power that could come from, from being a composer in the traditional classical music way with help from my two main teachers, Peter Sculthorpe and Toru Takemitsu. I moved in Japan and then to America and then to France and finally returning to Melbourne uh, where I took up a position as a teacher. I guess that begins the connection through my career which has been a parallel between the management or the leadership of a, of a music school and at the same time, all through that period, I wrote music. Music, of course, is a very abstract thing. And as a composer, I've always needed to begin with a non-musical uh, object or a non-musical story. Uh, and that enables me to give a sort of psychological uh, trajectory to the piece. Anzac means many things to many people. Uh, the Anzac word triggers different things, but they all involve sacrifice and suffering. They involve the people who leave and go off to fight the battles and the people who stay home. So for me, though, this is all about kind of a dreamlike recollection of it. It's more people thinking about their experience. I was able to use the nine soloists to, to be like characters uh, that I would use in the environment of the orchestra to create various images or create various emotions that reflect upon the story of Anzac. Composers, like all artists, live through the things they make, the things they create. No one piece can encompass all the things that you want to say, but uh, each piece is an episode in that evolution. Perhaps the most interesting thing about this piece, Anzac, is that it was written for the university orchestra. In other words, it's written for the students, and I'm also writing for the soloists, who are the main teachers within the conservatorium. I am giving my new piece, my imagination, my hope for the piece, to these musicians. And there's a kind of act of trust, which is very interesting. And the rehearsals are very exciting, often uh, uh, can be a little bit worrying, and there may be some fine adjustments made with the conductor, uh, Brett Dean, one of Australia's best composers uh, out in the world today. And working with Brett's going to be quite interesting, but the thing I hope for most of all is that each of our students enjoys the time they're with us in the university, but moves on, as I have done, to explore each new thing as it rolls out over the time that they have in music.